Hey guys, welcome to the daily news analysis of 6th of February guys. Let's see the very first news. First news is regarding Pelican Festival which is recently being organized at Kolleru Lake, right? So let's see the location of Kolleru Lake guys. So basically this is a map of undivided Andhra Pradesh. This is Telangana, right? So just mention it. So anyways, the location of Kolleru Lake, it lies between the basins of Krishna and Godavari, right? and uh, the pelican festival 2018 is being observed there and basically it is being observed uh, in atapaka region of uh, that uh, andhra pradesh right because there is a bird life century also right so what happens there is that thousands of pelicans painted stocks as well as other bird visit that region in the basically during winter season because that is a very conducive environment for themselves to breed in this region right so that's why this is being uh, carried out there and that's why this and uh, recently officials have also identified then the region of this atapaka where these uh, these you know pelicans basically uh, come so that is the largest pelican canary in the whole world right so remember it is the largest pelicanary between the whole world and uh, in this location is also famous for gray pelicans now see this is the gray pelicans guys so basically what happened was in 1973 these gray pelicans has totally vanished from this region but in uh, december 20 2006 nearly after 35 years uh, there i mean again these gray pelicans were observed right and regarding the gray pelicans if you see then they fall in the schedule one category of wildlife protection act 1972 and also regarding the red data book of iucn guys they fall under the vulnerable category right so this was i mean this much was about the factual things regarding uh, the news which is called pelican festival right next news is about international kala mela actually this is for the first time that the international kala mela is being organized in new delhi and it is organized by Lali Kala, Lalit Kala Academy. What is Lalit Kala Academy? We will be reading in the next uh, slide itself. But guys, it is being done with the partnership of Indira Gandhi National Center for Arts as well as Ministry of Culture. And the objective of this International Kala Festival is to mainly to focus on the direct interaction between the uh, artist and connoisseur. Uh, and also educating the raising awareness about art basically see what happens here means what is the objective i'm just telling you in lucid language artists from different regions basically different sectors will get a platform right where the awareness regarding the art of india as well as the art of whole world can be put forth in front of the artisans who are coming from different regions as well as the artisans of india right because it will create a sense of you know competition between them right and they will think of that if you know they are being you know very much good in some sort of arts then it might be possible that uh, you know there's there come some business leaders over in this international kalamela and they seem they see some you know some sort of business by seeing some sort of uh, artistic uh, you know nature in indian uh, art i mean artists right so they might hire themselves in future for the i mean for i mean in future prospects for the business purpose right so these these kind of pl platforms are indeed very much helpful for the artists right because uh, they can show their art works over here also right and through this international kala mela basically it is an comprehensive outreach and it shall include the participation of national as well as international level artists or art critics uh, of repute from all over the globe right and uh, regarding the lalit kala academy guys it is india's national academy of fine arts and it is an autonomous organization just remember and it was founded in 1954 and the aim of it is to basically the promote and uh, propagate understanding of india art both within the country as well as outside the country it also provides a scholarship fellow program sponsoring and organizing numerous exhibitions in india's and overseas it is funded by the union ministry of culture right so this was about this uh, news next is about eva bill actually recently eva bill it was in news because eva bill uh, who's uh, has been facing technical glitches that's why the trial period of this eva bill in different region has been extended right and in those regions this will not be implemented as of now but this will be implemented in pilot uh, uh you know uh, firstly it will be implemented on pilot project then it will be implemented at uh, at a whole stretch all over the region where the technical glitches are seen as of now right 
so basically what is this case eviable so eviable is an electronic billing system for traders who are moving their goods from one place to another right basically if you caveats are there if they are moving their uh, goods from uh, within i mean more than the range of 10 kilometer radius right also if they are carrying goods worth uh, more than rupees 50000 then they required to get themselves pre-registered before transferring through this eway bill it will be help for the helpful for the central as well as the state government because you know earlier what used to happen was they had to you know i mean uh, they had to uh, stop at different check posts right which used to take uh, consume very much time and very much uh, you know police uh, surveillance were also there right so there was not ease of doing business but through the implementation of eway bill it is said that it they will come and implement a, uh, ease of doing business if you know the transport is uh, transporters will you know abide by this eway bill right so that's why it is being said that uh, uh, you know uh, this uh, i mean like uh, as of now the due to technical glitches uh, the trial period has been extended but few of the regions like kerala rajasthan uttarakhand and uh, Ker uh, karnataka they have already implemented the eway bill right so if it is being asked that no uh, no state has re uh, implemented the eway bill then that will be wrong just remember these kind of you know factual things are what being asked in the prelims paper right and also guys uh, for making of this eway bill it is very much easy because you don't have to visit any tax office or check post uh, for the construction of eway bill rather you can generate it online through the official website or through mobile apps sms or offline uh, services are also available for this right so yeah this was the news next news is about chrisid x what is this guys c cre stands for crystal sid stand for C uh, cdp and x stand for index right so crisidex is the india's first msc that is micro small enterprise sentiment index now what is the sentiment index it is basically a composite index right which will be having the diffusion of eight parameters right and it will basically measure uh, micro small enterprises business sentiment right and it will measure them it will rank them on the scale of 0 to 200 0 being the extremely negative and 200 being the extremely positive say for example the, the sentiment index of any region is you know very much uh, lower right so their government can you know uh, come with some sort of uh, relief measure like uh, they can give some sort of tax relief or something like that right and where the there is extreme positive this uh, msc sentiment index then their government might think of some sort of you know stringent uh, regulating mechanism so that the government can earn more from through that region right so that's why this sort of crisis is being formed which will indeed help in future the government only to help improve the market efficiencies right so yeah and why if you think that why msc has already been uh, is only the i mean it is the taken through to determine the crazy decks because see msme is a sector where people not only exhibit their entrepreneurial skill they i mean they it is a huge sector where can where you know people can actually you know showcase their entrepreneurial skill as well as they can become a part of large value chain not only this they can also become a job creator right so that's why this is indeed uh, a good uh, you know i mean good step by the government right next news about a united nation development partnership fund actually india has recently contributed additional of you know uh, 1 million dollar to this fund right which is being set up by the partnership of india as well as united nation office of south south cooperation right and uh, basically the aim is to intensify the, uh, the india's partnership with other developing countries because the aim of this unoscc that is united nation office for south south cooperation is increasing the cooperation between the south south countries that is increasing cooperation between developing developing countries right so through this fund basically the pro projects will be funded in these developed countries and small island developing countries and uh, you know it will indeed be helpful for the india also to increase its collaboration with the partnering governments in future right and in future you know it will also act as a moral boost for india because you know india will be having a short of uh you know soft power because through i mean through the participation of india only this fund is getting huge bigger and bigger which will be very much conducive for the small island developing state or least developing countries to you know receive fund from this uh, fund structure right 
so that's why this was the news next news is about a crisis that has been going on in the island country of maldives firstly i'll show you the location of maldives guys it is india right and it is maldives it is our lakshadweep i mean india's part of course india lakshadweep and andaman nicobar island and sri lanka is a different country right the, uh, the capital of sri lanka is colombo capital city of maldives is male so what is the political crisis that's going on in maldives so see see guys basically the present uh, uh, Prime Minister, that is Mr. Yamin, has uh, called off for an emergency of 15 days. Actually, this emergency has been called in this island country because recently Supreme Court of this uh, Maldives has given an order to release the opposition leader, as well as release the 12 MP. I mean, to intake the 12 MPs who have been, you know, uh, ex executed from this. I mean. Who has been taken off from the party of the present uh, prime uh, present president of the Maldives, that is Mr. Yamin. So the thing Mr. Yamin is thinking is that if these twelve MPs will be reinstated, then they will join the opposition party, and if they will join the opposition party, then the oppo the uh, strength of the opposition party will be such that then the there will be very easier possibility for the impeachment of the president uh, present president that is mr yamin right so that's why you know the president has called up for this 15 days of uh, you know emergency over there right and uh, it has given the security officials huge power in order to arrest any sort of suspects as well as president is required i mean it is being said in the article that for the implementation of this sort of emergency then the president is required to inform the parliament first but they have already suspended the you know legislature for independent period right so i mean this is the very huge plan of present president in maldives that is mr yamin to take over the administration in his uh, you know uh, like in his control right that's why i mean undertaking the situation all over whatever is being occurring in maldives the opposition parliamentarians are requesting the international community that international community must come forward and consider the diplomatic, economical and legal measures so that the def uh, democracy of this island country could be saved, right? As well as the rule of law and human rights, whatever has been violated in Maldives, those could be restored, right? So that's why there's an appeal from the international committee. So let's see what happens next, right? So yeah, guys, this was all about it. And if you at all want to, you know, uh, see th the economic survey, which is being explained in Hindi, so you can, you know, uh, just type the link below which has been given in description right and if at all want to know how to write mains answer there the link of this mains answer writing discussion is also i am giving in the comment section below so you can click on to that link and you can see i have covered many equations from general studies as well as ethics and i've just said there that how to write it uh, you know the answers for mains right so there are a plethora of lectures basically 10 lectures are there but as of now you know i've already completed 10 lectures actually you can see those 10 lectures but i will include more and more lectures over in that uh, whole series right so if you haven't seen that uh, this uh, like course then you can click the link which is being given by me in the description and you can take the benefit of it right and for guys for you can i mean subscribe to the telegram link also that is the study uh, materials and there you will be getting the pdf of all the study materials whatever you know i upload in this platform that is either youtube or an academy right so you will be getting access to all those pdfs right so, and this is the link of i mean this is the channel name right so you can search out for it guys yeah we'll meet in tomorrow's class guys till then bye bye take care and thank you for listening to this video guys thank you very much